Thank you for watching. Welcome to Jamie TV, where we do not pissy pants about. 25 years ago, Vintage started making guitars, and to mark this very special anniversary, they've made 300 special limited run silver bass guitars. There are 100 that look like this, 100 that look like this, and 100 that look like this. No special effect expense has been spared. Spent. Now I am going to tell you all about this guitar, but when I first received this demo model, I did kind of wonder to myself, why am I making a video to promote this guitar? You know, they've only made 300, it's a limited run, special edition, it looks gorgeous. We all know the fantastic guitars anyway. It's not like they're going to have any difficulty selling them. So why am I making a video? And then I decided, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this video as a celebration of what Vintage have achieved in 25 years in the guitar building industry. So I am unashamedly, yes I'm an endorsee, and I am unashamedly wearing my Vintage t-shirt. talking about inexpensive guitars one of the first questions that an experienced musician would ask would be like what was it like out of the box did you have to fettle it did you have to set it up was it a mess well now in truth whenever anybody's sending me a guitar whether it's a demo model or something I've bought and they ask me how I'd like it set up I always say don't bother because setups are a personal thing I like my setup how I like it and I can do my own so I always say save your time but the truth is I got this out of the box and the first thing that struck me was not the slightest hint of a sharp fret and the frets themselves could not be any more gleaming and shiny the neck perfectly straight the action just actually exactly how I would set it up very even just really nice I just didn't have to touch it I just played it straight away which at this price point if you can do that I mean, that's stunning isn't it why would you spend any more on a guitar if you do spend any more on a guitar you're spending it for the name on the headstock and uh, that just doesn't make any sense to me at all I mean it's what is that about anyway that's not the point so uh, what does this guitar have on it this guitar has all Wilkinson hardware so we've got the two hole uh, locking tuners some people don't like those kind of tuners although i don't know why because i've found them to be absolutely the, the tuning stability on this guitar is quite incredible but if you don't like those kind of tuners just use one hole we've got a graph tech new bone nut we've got maple neck and fretboard uh, we've got a nice uh, two-piece american alder chunky body it's got a little weight to it, it's not overly massively heavy, but it's, it is nice and solid. We've got the single ply black scratch plate. We have um, Alnico pickups, Wilkinson again, and the Wilkinson ashtray bridge. The three brass saddles, so you've got two strings over each saddle, and it's string through body. Um, we've got the, what exactly we'd expect really, we've got a three way switch. Uh, volume and tone it's I mean let's let's be honest right this guitar 
is not just based on or a tribute to. This is very much a copy of a classic guitar. Now, without saying the name of that guitar, that guitar is my personal very favourite kind of guitar. And that's why I asked when I was going to demo one of these silver bursts if I could have this particular model. Now, because I'm a big fan of those kinds of guitars, because I worked in a music shop for some time, and because I'm a very old musician who's played many, many guitars over the years, I've played many, many examples of that particular model, both copies and by the company who um, originally originated them. And uh, I've only ever played a couple of examples that were as good as this. Now, some of those examples that I've played were the other kind of vintage guitar. And some of them were worth thousands of pounds and uh, some of them were the custom jobs. I've maybe played two other guitars, two or three other guitars um, of this design that were as good as this one. So I, re at this price point, I mean, I really, really highly recommend this particular guitar. I'm going to wrap up this video by talking about what vintage guitars mean to me. I'm a full-time musician, I have been for many years, but the music business does not pay a lot of money anymore. I need great quality instruments to be able to do a good job, but I don't have a ton of cash to spend on expensive instruments. So what vintage represent for me is a great quality instrument for a very fair price. Not the cheapest instrument, but certainly not expensive. And right out of the box, aside from, you know, maybe needing a setup, you get a great quality instrument that's more than good enough to take on a world tour, do session work, record a pro album with. They're made by people who care about your experience with the guitar and have great customer relations. So I wish vintage guitars every success for the future. I hope that this carries on for many years to come. I'm very proud to be an Endor C and I hope to remain one for a very very long time i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope that it was useful to you if so please give me the thumb up and if you've not subscribed already then please do so and if you'd like to be notified about more nonsense from me then ding my bell and if you'd like to contact me about anything to do with music at all my email address is down below the video all my social media stuff you know just get in touch if you wish so until my next video Take care of yourselves, be good people, make lots of music, and don't pissy pants about. See you later.